Test one, two, or we're, we're good. All right. Well, after having a few challenges here with some audio tonight, we're back here live from the Forno Center on the College of Central Christian College of the Bible, where the Saints are taking on the Ecclesia College. Royals from Springdale, Arkansas. We're jumping into the first quarter here. Ecclesia Royals lead our trailing 13 to 15 here in this first quarter. See, there's under three minutes left to play in this first quarter. It's been a seesaw battle here from the get go. <coughs> For the first part of this half, the uh, Saints have been handling the ball quite well, cutting down on their turnovers, which has been uh, something we've seen a bit of throughout the season, but getting better as the season goes along. Some substitutes coming in for the Saints. Saints drop into their 2-3 zone. Defending at the top of the screen is three point bucket up and good. Guess the Royals lead 16 to 15. Warren Mills with the ball gets it forward to Alexis Wisenan. Alexis trying some dribble drive action and the ball gets tipped away. Royal ball. Some substitutes again. Saints going to start out in uh, a 1 2 2 or 3 2 zone defense here. Trailing 15 to 16 here with just under two minutes to go in this first quarter. Royals working the ball around the perimeter. Get the ball to the top of the key to 30 through Alicia Pickett. She kicks it back out. Deep shot up. No good. Rebounded. Oh, off. Off uh, Kimberly there. Ball remains with the Royals underneath their basket. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Saints come up the middle, do a good job. Fowler gets the ball up. Gets the ball to Kester. She moves it into the lane, kicks it back out to Fowler. Fowler kicks it over to... Caitlin Wampler, and she uh, is off the mark, but... Saints retain possession. Minute 21 left to go here in this first quarter. Long floor over to Fowler. Fowler down into Kester. Kester dribble drives, kicks it back out to Clark. Wisenan with it in the corner now, trying to get an open lane to go to the bucket. She does, gets her shot blocked. Rebound for the Royals. <coughs> On a fast break, gets fouled. <coughs> no, commits the foul. And the push off underneath on Alicia Pickett. That's the fourth team foul in this first period. Saints are sitting with two. 16 to 15, the Saints trail here with just a minute left to go in this first quarter. Waffler gets the ball across the timeline and kind of got herself trapped. Fowler gets things reset. Down below. Oh my, there's a team right there. 
Okay. No big. I'll get it out. Saints on the turnover, give the ball over the Royals. They're back at it here in their 3 2 zone defense. Call fouled on the Saints. Gives them their third team foul. Lauren Mills checking back in. <coughs> Saints are dropping into looks like a man to man defense for the out of bounds. Royals working it around. Deep shot. Rebounded by the Royals. Up, oh, no good. Rebounded by the Saints. Getting trapped and a quick turnover there. Seven point five seconds left to go here in this first period. Deep three up for the Royals and no good. Rebound to the Royals and no shot. That's the end of the first quarter here from Central Christian College of the Bible. We're going to take a short break, let you watch our newest commercial ad, and we'll be back for second quarter action. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College. back here for second quarter action. The Saints are just wrapping up their between the quarter break. It'll be Saint Ball on the alternating possession. Kimberly Fowler out to uh, inbound the ball for the Saints. Tipped out of bound by the Royals. The Saints will get a Another opportunity here. Fowler with the ball across the timeline. He's going to get things set up for the Saints. Gets the ball over to Wisenand. Wisenand gets it over to Waffler. Takes it down in. Wisenand does and gets the, gets the shooter's roll there on that. A little put up there to take the lead again for the Saints. 17-16 as we start this second quarter action. Deep three-point shot up. Fowler on the rebound. Leading out in the break. Just pulls up inside the three-pointer. Little freshman mistake there not to stay outside the three-point range on that shot, but puts it up, makes it 19-16. Saints are in there. 3 2 defense. Shot up. And that's going to be knocked out of bound on the Royals. And it'll be Saint basketball. Royals come out into uh, some pressure here, trying to put some trap on. Fowler gets the ball over to Mills. She sets up for a three point. No good. Rebound. Contested in there. It's going to be. Royal Basketball. Yeah. 
Royals are kind of working around that 3-2 pressure of the Saints and get a little 15-foot jumper in there. Kester with the ball at the top of the key, gets her. Good idea there by Fowler, just a little too late on the execution. And ends up drawing the foul as the Royals put that ball up after a rebound. And Fowler draws the first foul of the quarter for the Saints, her second of the game. Grace Crawford at the line for the Royals. She missed her first one. And makes her second one to tie things up at 19. 19 apiece for the Saints and the Royals. Fowler bringing the ball up for the Saints. Gets it over to Katie Wampler. She goes on the dribble drive. Takes an extra step, actually. And there the refs caught it. Turnover, Saints. On the travel call. Alicia Pickett brings the ball up for the Royals. Nice little ball handler there. She you see she's totally in control of the ball when it's in her hands. Drive down the middle for Pickett. No good. Saints come out with the ball. Wampler on the Drive, lucky not to have uh, been over and back on uh, where she decided to make her move there. So she's at the ball, top of the key with the ball, gets the down ball down to Lauren Mills with a 15-foot jumper. No good. Outbounded to pick it. She's on the, on the drive. Another turnover by the Royals. Saints doing a great job on defense. Get the ball forward to Wisenhan, and she's up. Scores the bucket on the fast break for the Saints. Saints are up 21-19. Deep three-point shot up and good. It's Grace Crawford from the right side. Puts the Royals up 22-21. Giving their defense a little energy off that three-point shot. Saints... Get the ball in here on their inbound play. Get the ball down to Lauren Mills fighting for that. Just not in the best of position with that pass. And the Royals get a quick two off the fast break there. Lauren Mills with the fake and the drive to the basket. It's a great looking drive for Lauren Mills there. Great little ball pump fake and drive around the defender and took it right on in. Got fouled for two. First foul in the quarter for the Royals. Second foul on Grace Crawford. Lauren Mills misses her first of two up for her second. And good. Usually the Saints are out pressing on an inbound play like that, but have called it back. Sitting in there, 3 2 zone defense. Saints try to pack that in to stop that very thing. And number 22, Madison Bailey, on the score for the Royals. Kester driving the ball down, gets it over to Fowler, and she. Ball is tipped by a Royal, so possession remains with the Saints underneath their own basket. Wampler will do the inbounding duties. Gets the ball out to Kara Kesters as she's on the drive down. Inadvertent pass by the freshman there. Saints be able to knock it away to slow down. The fast break and Alexis Wisenan ends up getting a steal. Kara Kester's on the drive. 
gets hit on the way up, but does not get that ball to go down. 26-22, the Royals lead. And Lauren Mills. Called on the foul. She thought for sure she was the one who was fouled. Ball remains with the Royals. And that puts a foul on Lauren Mills, her first of the night. Team second this quarter. Good defense there by Fowler to just knock that ball out. Deep three put up by 23. And Lauren with the uh, body check after the shot is gonna, gonna put number 23 to the line for the Royals for three shots. First one of three is up and no good for the Royals. And the second one is no good. Maybe a good foul then as you look at the scoring odds on that. One of three. Fowler with the ball for the Saints, brings it up, gets things set for the Saints offense. Passes it off to Wampler at the top of the key. She does a spinning move and gets the ball knocked out on the way to the hoop. Ball gets recovered, moved around to Lauren Mills for the three-point shot. No good. And Katie Wampler is going to be called for the foul as she was bodying up number 21, Gabby Adams, as she was making the steal. So... Fouls adding up here in this second period for the Saints. The fourth team foul. First one on Wampler. Deep three put up and number 22, Madison Bailey, hitting a couple three-point shots for the Royals, making it tough. So Coach Megan Henson says uh, enough is enough. We're going to take a timeout, get reset. And we'll take the time out with them. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College. Second period action here. The Saints have the ball on their side of the court and working a little dribble drive. Weave at the top. Ball gets knocked out. And knocked out again. So on the double turnover there, the Saints end up with the ball. Not sure that's a statistic we keep in basketball, but it sure sounds good. A double turnover. Saints with the ball, top of the key. Wampler. Fowler trying to find a space, a driving lane there. Wampler with the inerrant pass gets knocked away. And on the fast break, 21, Gabby Adams on the bucket. So fast break, fast break points have been mounting up for the Royals here and just put the 
10 point deficit on the board for the Saints. They're going to have to take care of the ball a little more. Yeah, you can hear that up here. There was a reach in foul on Alicia Pickett. Four fouls, team fouls here on the Saints, and that's just the second one for the Royals this quarter. So the ball will be taken out of bounds by the Saints after a few substitutions. On the floor for the Saints is Lauren Mills and Kimberly Fowler on the, with the ball on the drive. She gets in for the easy two. Also out there is Raya Brady and Kaya Kesters and Devin Clark for the Saints tonight. They're working the 3-2 defense there and the Saints are moving the ball around trying to get a dribble drive lane and Raya. Uh, the uh, player there for uh, the Royals um, got up, and I, I think if I heard her correctly, she said, I think she knocked me down. And uh, um, Raya did knock her down, so she was called for the foul. <coughs> Raya's first, team's fifth. The girls go to the line for one and one First one is good for the Royals, 33-24. And the second one is good. 34-24. Back to a 10-point lead for the Royals as they put on a little full-court pressure. Devin Clark with the ball. Easily getting it across that half-court line. Gets the ball over to Fowler. The Saints are going to get their offense set up here with three minutes, just over three minutes to go in the second quarter. Another turnover by Fowler as she attempts the drive. Fast break. Another fast break points for the Royals. The, the Saints are... Going to have to figure out how to get back on transition defense here tonight. They're, the Royals are just eating him up on fast break points here this second quarter especially. Lauren Mills with the shot up. No good. Wisenan on the rebound gets knocked out by a Royal. So the Saints retain the ball underneath their own basket. Alexis Wisenan taking the ball out for the Saints. Gets the ball up to Kara Kesters as she kind of got her foot stepped on. Lucky that didn't break an ankle on that. That's an easy one to get hurt on. Some uh, exchange of fouls there and the Saints are going to end up with the possession. the third team foul on the Royals here in this quarter. Kimberly Fowler with the ball into Lauren Mills. Gets knocked out. And Mills with the with the scrap there for the ball and she's gonna, Saints are gonna be able to maintain that possession. Just before the five-second possession call there, Lauren was able to get the ball, and it's a second consecutive foul there on number four for the Royals. That'll be their fourth team foul, her second. Next one will be a one-on-one -on -one for the Saints with 2.22 left to go in this. Saints have been having a... Hard time getting the ball inbounded. There's a lot of pressure being put on by this Royal defense. And I believe that's number four's third foul here in the last like four, three minutes. And so she's going to take it, some time on the bench to think about her poor behavior and bad performance. And Lauren Mills at the line for a one and one. First one's up and good. Twenty-five, thirty-six. The Saints trail by nine, and Lauren misses the second of her one and one. There, ball being brought up by Madison Bailey. It's the ball over to 
Gabby Adams, and they're moving the ball around this St. defense and working inside for a bucket by Madison Bailey. 38-25. Saints are trailing by 13. And another two points on fast break points for the visiting Royals. 25-40. Really, it's been fast break points this uh, quarter that is the difference in where we are with the game. Lauren Mills with a short hop jumper and was fouled on the way to the hoop, so she'll get to shoot two. Call was fouled. Foul was called on number 15 for the Royals, her first. Lauren with her second shot up and no good. Boy, Lauren's just having a struggle tonight. She's usually such a great shooter, and tonight just having a hard time finding the bottom of the bucket. Another three-point bucket up and good for the Royals. Extending their lead to 18. Fowler with the ball to Mills. The ball back to Fowler. She's on the dribble drive. Shot is blocked. And Fowler is going to be called with the foul as she made the turnover and it happens quite a bit. You try to fix that and end up making a foul when you try to fix it. So Saints are trailing by 18 points here with 54.7 seconds to go in this second quarter. Gabby Adams is at the line. Misses her first. <coughs> and... Second is good, extending the lead to 19. Caitlin Wampler with the ball for the Saints, getting things set up as they move into their offensive set. A looping pass to the shortest player on the, on the court, and Katie Veach, and she turns the ball over. 22 on a drive. Madison Bailey again with another two points, adding to her total for the half. Under 30 seconds to go. Lauren Mills with the ball, top of the key. A little, little shimmy, shimmy shake at the top there. Gets the ball over to Wampler, and she gets misses everything. But Alexis Weisenhan with the rebound. Lefty puts it up, and it's good. 27-46. Finally got the uh, lid to come off the basket for the Saints here. And the Royals throw the ball away on their fast break drive with Three seconds left to go in this first half. And Katie Wampler with just the baseball chuck at the end of the half to uh, close out the first half of play here from Central Christian College of the Bible. We're going to take a halftime break. We'll be back with some halftime statistics and a wrap-up of the first half before we get the second half started. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College. Lightning and the thunder.
culture, watch me go up every weekend. We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, yeah. We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, yeah. Get the ball, shoot the shot, hit the switch. Full of fags. Okay. Yeah. It's been a minute. Had to hit you with the grill. Take you way up, stay up like the city on a hill. I live with God. That altitude can get some folk to chill. So many people jumping shit, but guess that's overkill. Uh, wicked where I kick it, tell them stop. Said it roll up. Where I'm living, they'll lift your car like a tow truck. DM like it's tinted off the lot, like a rover. Give them that business off top, like promoters. I laid it, painted, paint just like it's taking off. See, everything ain't been the same that since it's taking off. That's when you change, they start to break it all And your changes start to change and you ain't break them all, man what? I sit here on the hill, I'm like the beacon For the culture, watch me go up every weekend We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag uh, We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag uh. Get the ball, shoot the shot, hit the switch And God with me, you know I don't ever miss uh, yeah. We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag uh, We ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag uh, God is living, uh, more sore when I swing, more cold, can't explain, hot core, let it hang, I tore like a plank, I sit on the hill, I'm like the beacon, but my people watch me go up every weekend, we ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, uh, we ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, uh. get the ball, shoot the shot, hit the switch, and God with me, you know I don't ever miss, uh, we ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, uh, we ain't full of fag, we ain't full of fag, uh. That's just reckless. Huh? They play with fire over cake. Yeah, they must have oh, a death yeah. wish. Shout out everyone that kept me held down. Yeah. When they crucified my name just to keep me nailed down. Yeah. Yeah. Saving up a little money for my bail now. Yeah. Showing up every time that I need a bail out. Yeah. Yeah. So if they hating, they can't get from round me. I keep it with me when they try to drown me. Try to love my enemies. Use that energy. Giving me a focus on this piece. Yeah. Yeah. I got some people that's gon' yeah. All my believers gon' Space like a rocket, motorbike, and Kawasaki. Uh, yeah, the squad is solid. Try to check me, ballot box, and we the proof. No receipt, but I ain't mad at all these commas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they make it hard to smile. Do it for my cousin, locked up, waiting for his trial. Do it for the ones that can't get to it because of trials. For my people, still unequal, but they do it for their child. Hold it down for me, hold it down for me. With the noise, get from round from me, get from round from me. If they know me, then they down for me, then they down for me. Thankful for the ones that ride for me, that don't ride for me. Hold it down, yeah. They hatin', they can't get from round me I keep it waiting when they try to drown me Try to love my enemies, use that energy Giving me a focus on this piece, yeah I got some people that's gon' Please to take care for me. I know his peace gon' be there for me. I can see it showing on me. I can see it work for you. 
They want my downfall, watch out for me Fake friends that lie, but they smile for me I don't play the games they play, no We gon' have to do it right Hold on, hold on, Dad, let me talk to him Daddy knows daddy, but he found God Too real. They want it smoke until they breathe in mine. Second hand smoke, I be broke, I could die. I show 
like try to live your life right People really know you push your buttons like type right This is like a movie but it's really very lifelike Every single night right, every single fight right I was looking at the gram and I don't even like likes I was screaming at my daddy, told me it ain't Christ like I was screaming at the referee just like Mike Looking for a bright light, see go what your life like Riding on a white bike, feeling like a sight fight Pressing on the gas, supernova for a night light Screaming at my dad and he told me it ain't Christ like But nobody never tell you when you're being like Christ Only ever seeing me, only when they need me Like if Tyler Perry made a movie for BT Searching for a deity, now you wanna see it free Now you wanna see it free, let you see it through your piece Tell me what your life like, turn it down a bright light Driving with my dad and he told me it ain't Christ like I'm just trying to find, I've been looking for a new way I'm just really trying not to really do the fool way I don't have a cool way, being on my best though Block up on a text though Next though, not another word, let a picture or a desmo. Wrestling with God, I don't really wanna rest so man, it's really life like everything in my life. Arguing with my dad and he said it ain't Christ like Man You know it's like Somebody only close to can get you like off your I be on my I woke up this morning, I said my prayers, I'm all through good. I try to talk to my dad, give him some advice. He starts spazzing on me. I start spazzing back. He said, that ain't Christ like I said. back here for second half action from the Forno Center on the College of Central Christian College of the Bible. Your Saints are trailing 27 to 46 as we get ready for third quarter action. Unfortunately, we didn't get our what had been a consistent stat report here at halftime so we're just going to roll right here into uh, the third quarter. It'll be Royal Basketball. Royals are in obviously their blue uniforms and the Saints are in their gray home uniforms. Saints open up in their 3-2 zone defense. Get the first rebound there. Alexis Wisenan on the rebound. Kind of being antagonized out front there by number 15, Harmony Van Campen. And turns the ball over. Uh, 
Royals moving the ball around the perimeter here as they're looking for a dribble drive option or a passing option, try and get the ball inside. Great little pass in there by 33, but knocked away by the Saints. And uh, Kara Kester on the fast break. Turns the ball over, and immediately we had another double turnover right there. Saints throw a bad pass, and Alyssa Pickett of the Royals steps out of bounds as she intercepts that pass. So double turnover. Kara Kester's on the inbound. Drives to the hoop. Lexus Wisenan on the cleanup, and she puts it in. It's having a great night underneath for the Saints. Alexis Wisenan doing some serious work down there. They need more of it from her, though. And shot no good. Rebounded by Kesters. Fowler on the fast break. Drops it off to Lauren Mills. And they leave the left hand door open. No good. And Alexis Wisenan gets the rebound. Pulls it up. Coach Henson telling him to get into an offensive set. Clark with the ball, top of the key. Gets the, ooh. Clark's got to pass that on the other side of the body so that the defender can't get to it. And another fast break point there. Turned in by 32. That's Grace Crawford of the Royals. Devin Clark with the ball gets it over to Fowler and they misread each other's motions and coach Megan Hansen says uh, guys we're still not on the same page here so she's going to take a break try to get them on the same page we'll be back after this short break you're watching Saint Basketball from Central Christian College Back at it, 29-48, Royals lead the Saints. And a three-point bucket up and good for Gabby Adams of the Ecclesia Royals. Katie Fowler with the top, Kimberly Fowler at the top of the key. Devin Clark trying to find a way to get the ball in and Gets a little shot up underneath, alley-oop, dippity-doo, and wouldn't you know it, she got fouled. First shot's up by Devin Clark is good. 21-point deficit for the Saints. And second one up and good. Knocks that down to 20. Saints coming out in their 3-2 zone. Deep three. And whoo! That is a deep shot for Alyssa Pickett. Extends that lead to 23 for the Royals. Fowler on the dribble drive. She goes into the lane. Gets the ball over to Kesters. But gets fouled. It's the second team foul on the Royals this third quarter. Warren Mills with the ball. Gets it over to Devin Clark and ball gets knocked out of bounds. St. Basketball. Fowler on the inbound, takes it all the way in, and Kimberly Fowler on the drive. She gets hacked. Bucket counts. 
send her to the line for one. And it's good. She cuts the lead down to 20 points, 34 54s. Saints really going to have to step up their defense this half. Deep three point shot up again for Alyssa Pickett. That's two in a row. Saints got to get out and put a hand in her face before uh, they let that get too far from them. Fowler on the drive. It's knocked behind. Fast break point up for Gabby Adams, and she gets her own rebound. Get things set up at the top. Oh, they missed a travel. She took too many steps on that. And air ball. And ball is going to be knocked out, called out on number 32, Grace Crawford of the Royals. St. Basketball. Caitlin Wampler checks into the game. She'll be handling the ball handling responsibilities for the Saints. Gets the ball over to Wisenhand. Down to Kesters. Turnaround jump shot. No good. Rebounded by the Royals. And they're off and running. We got a four on four here. Up. Shot. No good. Lauren Mills with the rebound. And they're going to foul her on that rebound. That'll be the fourth, fourth team foul on the Royals. That's the third personal on Harmony Van Kampen. Alexis Wisen and again gets the ball down. And there's the fifth team foul called this, this quarter. That's Grace Crawford with her fourth personal foul. The fifth team foul, so the Saints will be shooting from here on out. 524 left to go in this third period. And first one is up for Kester, and it's good. Kayla with the second shot, and it's good, too. 36-57. Saints still trailing by 21. Moving the ball around. Coach called timeout when it looked like there was going to be a turnover, and they have a 30-second break. Saints struggling tonight on their defensive end of uh, pulling some defensive pressure on the transition game of the Royals. The Royals have been making bank on their transition game tonight. So hopefully Coach Coach Megan is saying uh, we've got to find a way to put more hoops in to stop that. And when we don't get hoops in the basket, we've got to – Hustle down and make sure we're getting into our defensive positions to help stop some of those transition points. So, Saints are coming back out. I believe it'll be their ball underneath the basket. Nope, they're going to come out and play defense here. It's the Royal basketball underneath their own basket. And, ooh. I think... See who they call that on. That would be Kayla Kester's her first foul, team first this quarter. It's a shooting foul. First one is up and good for Gabby Adams. Adams with her second. And no good. Rebounded by Kester's. Saints are on the move. Lauren. Gets the ball down to a wide open Alexis, and she gets it up, and the ball knocked away and turns over. Another quick break, fast break point for the for the Royals. Kester with the ball, gets it over to Caitlin Wampler, and she sets things up for the Saints at the top of the key. 
Again, another give-and-go drive there, and that's a great play there by the Saints from Clark to Wisenand. Deep three put up, no good. Rebound by the Saints. Kester getting her rebounds tonight for sure. Working hard on the inside to keep, keep the Saints in it. Kicks the ball out to Lauren Mills, and she passes it to... Wisenand underneath the basket there. Wisenand just making bank underneath the, the hoop tonight for the Saints. Another deep three for Abby Adams, and she had a wide open shot there. Nobody in her face and knocks down another three, 40 to 63. <clears throat> Saints are got a bucket from Kara Casters on the drive in the bucket. The <laughs> Alicia Pickett picking up the foul. She'll be shooting two for the Royals. First one's up and good. 64-42. And second one is up and also good. 65-42. 320 left to go here in this third period. Just... Coming upon the three-minute mark here in just a little bit. Kara Kester's on the entry pass into the post, and she's able to take it to the bucket for the bucket and the harm. She'll be at the line shooting one for the Saints. And it's good. The Saints have kept things pretty even this quarter. Um, kept it around the 20-point mark. It's, it's that second quarter that's going to haunt them. Another three up for the <clears throat> Royals, and it's good. 45-68. Another foul called on. Gabby Adams there, her second. Saints are in the bonus, so Wampler will shoot two. And it's the first one's good. 46 68. And 47 68. Saints again hanging around that 20, 21, 23 point mark the whole half, meaning they're. Doing a good job of <clears throat> matching what the Royals are doing this quarter, but just not being able to cut into their lead. Turnover on, on the Saints. Deep three up and rebounded by the Royals. And foul on that rebound, I believe, by Devin Clark. And... It was Devin Clark on the foul, her third, team's third. Devin Clark on the rebound for the Saints. She gets the ball across the timeline and <clears throat> trying to figure out if takes it all the way. Rebound by <laughs> Wisenan there. Just living in the paint. Living large in the paint tonight is Alexis Wisenan for the Saints. She's going to collect the foul and the buckets. See if she can keep the Saints at that 20 point mark. This is the bonus shot. Rebound by the Royals, and they are 
Taking their time to set things up in their offense against this 3-2 zone. Continue to work the perimeter, looking for a dribble drive lane and a kick out. And another foul called on the Saints. Harmony Van Campen to the line for the Royals. Foul was called on Lauren Mills, her third, team fourth. So in about the last three minutes of the game, the Saints have gone from zero team fouls to four. Usually just an indicator of tired legs there and not moving the legs as fast as they should on defense to get in front of the ball. And you just reach a lot more when that happens. Saints turn over the ball. Royals are on a fast break and another two points there for Madison Bailey. Devin Clark will go to the line on that foul for the Saints. Shooting two bonus shots. Saints trail 49-72 with a minute three to go here in this third quarter. And Devin misses the first one. And second one is up and misses that one as well, but gets the rebound. Takes it back into the hoop. Wiseman on the rebound, but loses it. Royals are on a fast break drive. Moving the ball around the perimeter. Deep three put up by number 23. And that extends the lead to 26. 75-49. The Royals lead the Saints here at home. Wisenan with a deep three. Rebound, and they're off and running again. Another two points. Caitlin Wampler bringing the ball up for the Saints. Coach Henson telling them to push it. They get up. Alexis Wisenan from the three-point line up. No good. And that, my friends, is going to end the third quarter here from the Ferno Center. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with fourth quarter action. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College.
And we're back. Ten minutes to go in this contest. The Saints are trailing 49-77 to the Royals from Ecclesia College from Springdale, Arkansas. Saints get the ball inside to Kara Kesters and another rebound for Alexis Wisenand tonight. Shot up by Lauren Mills and Lauren is just having a hard time finding the bottom of that bucket tonight. That is good shooters do. They just keep working and keep working themselves into the groove and she'll find it here eventually. Good, good defense there by Devin Clark. Gets the ball up to Kimberly Fowler and quick break point down to Lauren Mills on the quick turnaround. Maybe that'll be the shot that gets Lauren Mills going tonight. Lauren on the quick bucket for the Saints, 51-77. Saints continue to be in their 3-2 zone defense. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's all kinds of harm and foul done there, and that wasn't on our players. It was on how ugly that, that was. So Saints are going down the, down the court here, looking for another bucket, 51-79. Kara Kesters kicks it out to Devin Clark. Devin, get the three. Oh, a rebound by Lauren Mills, and she gets the two on the rebound. There's two back-to-back -back buckets by Lauren Mills. They've needed her tonight, and she's starting to, to find her groove. Deep three up, Kara Kester's on the rebound. Bringing the ball out, moving it down the court, trying to find a teammate, but turns the ball over. Lissa Grace Crawford on the steal. And number 15, Harmony Van Campen for the bucket and the foul. I believe that's gonna be on Kimberly Fowler. That'll be her fourth team's first this fourth period. And it's no good. Devin Clark on the rebound as she brings it out. <clears throat> and has Kimberly, no, has Kara Kester down there for a bucket and just couldn't get it turned around fast enough before it got knocked out of bounds. 81 53, 8 15 to go in this contest. Left-hander takes it into the middle. No good. Rebound by Lauren Mills. She picks the ball up, kicks it out to Devin Clark. Devin's moving the ball around inside. And a hard pass off the backboard. Goes to the Royals. They back it out. Drive the baseline for that secondary transition point on that. That first trip down the court with the rush of people is your primary fast break, but there's always a secondary action of people trailing, and that's what we saw there for the Royals. Inside to Lauren Mills now. She's got the last six buckets, six points for the Saints as the Royals push the ball down the court. A deep three up by number 23, and ooh. Kimberly Fowler took a pretty hard fall there as she was going for the basket. That'll be St. Basketball. Their coach is going to give Kimberly a, a break and a breather to get her wits about her with that face plant into the floor. Can let you see stars for a little bit. Wampler with the ball for the Saints. Gets it over to Wisenan. Alexis looking down low. Warren Mills trying to box out her player to get the, the pass, and it's turned over. And the Royals are pressing the ball. Devin Clark knocks it out on uh, good defense there to stop the fast break, which is what Saints have needed to do all night is figure out ways to stop that fast break. Good defense again by Clark. 
coming up with the the knockout and turnover to the Saints. And here comes Alexis Wisenhan, and she gets tripped as she was heading to the basket. That'll be Saint basketball underneath their her own basket. Right, Brady coming in for the Saints, going to give Kara Kestra a breather. Lauren Mills will be taking the ball out of bounds for the Saints. They're trying to get the player foul called correctly. And that would be the fifth foul on Harmony Van Campen. So her night is done. Raya Brady on the turnaround, no good. But again, Alexis Wisenhan earning her keep tonight down in the paint, working hard. It'll be Madison Bailey on the drive to the basket around Raya Brady and gets two, 57-85. 6.03 left to play in this fourth quarter. Getting the ball down to Lauren Mills as she works in. Gets the rebound and dribbles the ball on the out-of-bounds line. Turnover for the Saints. And the Royals bring the ball up. Saints look like they moved more into a more of a man-to-man -man defense here, or woman-to-woman -woman defense, as it were. Raya Brady with top of the key, looking over to Caitlin Waffler. She's on the drive, and the nice rainbow shot by Caitlin. 59-87, 18 point difference. Saints have dropped it under 20. And Raya Brady on the rebound, gets it over to Caitlin Wampler and there. Baseball passing it down the court to Devin Clark and most of the time we wouldn't advise that, but that's a great little play there to get another couple fast break points for the Saints dropping the lead down to four, 24. No. This guy's struggling with math here. Twenty six. And that's Devin Clark's fifth foul. So she's out of the comp contest tonight with 4.20 left to go. Royals are doing a Dribble pick action at the top of the key to see if they can get a drive out of it. And they do. It's up and no good. Alexis Wisenhan on the rebound. Gets the ball out to Caitlin Wampler as they get things set for the Saints. Inside pass to Lauren Mills. She drops down. Gets her own rebound and is fouled. Smooth as jazz, Lauren Mills gets the foul. Going to go to the line for two. Saints trail by 26. Now 25. And now 24, 63-87.
Saints have gone to a man-to-man -man defense now. Trying to put more pressure on. I think that's going to be called on Caitlin Wampler for a little body check on the defensive side. It's the Saints' fourth team foul. Wampler's second personal foul. 18 on the 15 on the shot clock. And Raya Brady on the rebound for the Saints. Kara Kester gets the ball over to Wampler down to Alexis Wisenan and Saints get the ball knocked out of bounds. And a good in interior pass there by Lauren Mills to Kara Kester for the bucket. Great little play by the Saints on the inside there. Deep three up, no good. Rebound the Royals, they put it back up, no good. Kara Kester's on the rebound. Brings the ball down for the Saints. Kicks the ball over to Raya Brady. Raya with the pass to Wampler. Back to Kester, she makes the drive and a good 10 foot shot put up by Kara Kester. 67 87, the Saints have dropped the lead. Down to 20. And they're back in their man-to-man -man defense. Deep three put up by the Royals. Brady and Grace Crawford. We're trying to figure out who's going to share the ball with whom. And in the process, called for a jump ball on the possession arrow. The ball stays with the Royals. They start up top of the key. And the Saints are in a man-to-man -man defense now, dropping out of their... 3-2. Number three for the Saints is Kaylee Veach on that hustle play there. Kester fouled on her shot. Minute one left to go in this contest, 67-87. Kester to the line for two. And first one is up and good. This second half, the Saints have done a great job playing with the Royals. They're going to look back and on that second quarter and think, Boy, only if we had just kept it close in the second quarter, they'd have been in this game all the way through. But the Royals pulled out a 20-point lead in that second quarter, and that's about where things stand. Deep three up, rebounded by the Royals, and an easy two for Alicia Pickett. Caitlin Wampler blings it up for the Saints. We've gone under 30 seconds left to play. Katie Veach in the corner, trying to work with a triangle offense over there. Wampler kicks it out to Wisenan. Wisenan, it's a dump off in the lane, and Saints are fighting for it. Alexa fighting like crazy for it, and she gets fouled. Yeah. 
if we were giving away uh, player of the game awards tonight, tonight would uh, easily go to Alexis Wisenand. She has worked her given everything she could to the team tonight with her effort and rebounding and points off rebounds. She's uh, done a great job tonight for the Saints. 20-point lead still for the Ecclesia Royals as time runs out in this competition. Again, 20 points is pretty much the difference of what we saw in the second quarter. And so the Saints able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Royals from Ecclesia here in the second half, but it was that second quarter that uh, did them in. So we'll see if Coach Megan Henson comes up here after a prayer. We'll take a short break and be back with you. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College. Well, it looks like Coach is uh, going to be spending time down on the court and with her team, so we're going to get signed off tonight. We'll be back on Thursday night where the men's team will be taking on the Manhattan Christian College Thunder, Lightning, whatever they are, Lightning and Thunder, something like that. So... Your last name, Brittany? Uh, Brittany Burns. 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 Yes. Okay. Burns. Yep. So, tonight on the camera, we want to thank Brittany Burns for making sure we could see everything tonight. I've been Brian Taylor doing the play-by-play uh, -play and sometimes color. You're watching St. Basketball from Central Christian College.